Okay, we're at Anclo Key Preserve State Park. Paddled out from Fred Howard Park. Um, I've heard it said it's two miles. I made it in about 45 minutes out of sheer terror. It's a lot choppier than I anticipated. And, uh, you know, I was just trying to get out of it. Get through it. Um, you can't see the, the opening from here, but straight ahead, straight ahead is the, uh, the mouth of the Anclote River. Uh, this is an extremely historical area. The Spanish came in the uh, mid-16th century, explored this entire area on the west coast of Florida. This was a haven for pirates and Spaniards, etc., uh, explorers. Uh, the Enclub goes way back up into the interior, not 100 miles, but you know, fairly good distance. And a lot of harbors. There are a lot of harbors up in there. The uh, sponge dock industry, as most people know nowadays, is located in Tarpon Springs, or, or it was. I don't. They don't really sponge dive much anymore. They pretty much the de sponge the whole area, if you will, expunge. <laughs> um, but before that, it was over near Anclo. It was was over near where you see the power plant now. Uh, that whole area, Bailey's, all the way up to Bailey's Bluff, it's about four, five, six miles that, that distance. That was the original sponge docks. Those were the original sponge docks, that, that whole area. So I'm sure there's ton of ruins out there to this day. This where I'm standing now, Anclo Key, was also a haven for uh, pirates. Uh, the Spanish explored this area as well. Of course, uh, the Timucuan were here when the Spanish came. And of course, this would be a perfect area for, I mean, if you were a Timucuan Indian, any kind of Indian, this would be a perfect area to be. Um, you know, it's, it's an island, so you can see your enemies coming, you can guard your coast, you can watch your back. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, there, there are burial mounds here, of course. There's all sorts of Indian mounds. We don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm sure archaeologists know where and what and all that, but I don't personally know. And I don't know anyone personally who does. Came out here primarily to see the lighthouse. And we're going to go do that now. The, it's important to remember that, or to note, I should say, that this, this key, this is the farthest, the northernmost, the northernmost key, the northernmost island, the nor northernmost barrier island in a chain of islands that begins in Key West and runs all the way up, up to here. This is the furthest north. Straight off in the distance, not right here, this is still Anclo Key, but straight off in the distance over here is Derny Key. I'm sorry, Derny Key's the other one, my bad. Three Rooker Island, and beyond that, Honeymoon Island, uh, Caladesi, Clearwater Beach, on and on and on down the beaches. The beaches, what we call beaches, and where they've built cities, are nothing more than um, barrier islands. They, you know, they were barrier islands. They only... Well, the significant notable difference is that nobody's come out here and built condos on this yet. So, you know, we, we don't know if that'll ever happen or not. They, they, the state protects it by calling it a preserve, but, you know, as we've seen countless times in the past, and I'm sure we'll see again numerous times in the future, the state gives and the state takes away as they see fit, as they will, based on people running it. So we don't know. We, we, we could be looking at a place that will one day be gone. But this lighthouse, of course, this is the mouth of the Enclote. So this was a, 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 a significant harbor, a significant port. Um, not like a Tampa Bay, not anything on that scale. But it was still significant. So people would, uh, mariners would come in through from the Gulf, the Gulf, the big, you know, the main, the Gulf, the open Gulf is on the other side of the world. He just jumped up out of his nest, I might have startled him. Um, so, you know, these, these barrier islands would have had to have had lighthouses uh, to, to guide people.
through the proper channel so they didn't run aground. And this was built in the late 19th century. You can't get into it. You're not, you know, you can't uh, just willy-nilly tour it. I think there's certain people. Oh, look, old pier ruins. Cool. I've never been out here to this one. I've been to the north side of the island many times, but I've never been all the way down south. It's about four miles from the tip to tip, and we're on basically the, the lower, the southern tip. So I'm not sure. I've, I've just never been down here. I never wanted to take a tourist boat to come out here, so I've always done it the hard way. Anyway, um, I'm sure that if you're someone special, you can get a tour of this lighthouse or someone can open the gate for you, but because of where it is, we're, we're in Tarpon Springs, right off Pinellas County. People, anybody with a boat, I mean, as easy as it took me to get out here, can come out here and, and be out here. So. Over the years, they've had to put a full-time ranger out here to protect this area and, of course, the lighthouse. And, and people would vandalize it, climb up in it. I mean, this thing was in serious disrepair for many years. And there's an organization, a uh, nonprofit, I think they're called the Friends of Anclote Lighthouse or Anclote Key Lighthouse, something like that. Um, but they're... Uh, they do a lot of good work out here in restoration and, and uh, maintenance. They've, they've kept this up. Battery's running low. I can't tell if my charger's charging or not. We're just going to run with it. The best we can if it goes out, it goes out down to 10%. Some more room, uh, pier ruins. That is exciting. The etymology of those, as far as you know, where they came from or anything else. Ran into a guy when I was putting in at Fred Howard, who runs the kayak boat rental, whatever bicycle thing concession over there. And he turned me on to the fact that you come straight from the island, Fred Howard, to here. You don't go around. I, I had was under the impression, and from everything I researched. I thought that you came around, but you don't. You come straight across, which was really cool for me to know because I didn't have to go all the way around the island and find out the hard way that you cannot get to it from the other side of the island. This is it, which, as you can see, I put in, or I pulled up, and boom, I'm here. So, Twelve-ton winch. If you look at this before we preserve the archaeological research, sandblasted and painted the winch to preserve it. This discovery is evidence of the everyday challenges of island life. Oh, this is for a boat, a boat winch. Cool. Very neat. I mean, I'm sure I can't even imagine the ruins. I don't know of any documented settlers like the Betzes or the Sharers out on Caladesi that are documented, which, uh, but. Um, I'm sure there's, besides the Timaquan, I'm sure there's a lot of bones in this ground. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears in this ground. A lot of people lived here over the years. Bet. So we're coming up right, obviously, right onto the lighthouse here. Very neat. You can see it very clearly from the, from the other shore. And I imagine if the, the Frenzel lens was pumping out the light. You can see pretty well there, too. Oh, here we go. Friends of Anclote Key State Park and Lighthouse. So, yeah, that's, that's the organization. Cool stuff. path around it. I'm going to go ahead and go around that. Cool 
stuff. Crazy cool stuff. Walk around out here, go around it. And so I'm going to shut this down and photograph it real well. Um, and go over here. It says residence only, so we're not going to go too far up in there. Include key lighthouse. I know that there's, from what I've been told, that there's raccoon out here. You can camp on this island. I'm not sure of the procedure. I do believe you have to get a permit to be able to do it. I've never done it. I've been out here several times on the northern end, um, but never, never down here. So. There's that marshy area that the guy was telling me about, the, the guy I ran into over at the concession. It looks like a light keeper's house of some sort, probably a, well, they would keep the oil and that sort of thing. Oh wow, the mosquitoes are very heavy over here too, aren't they? I'm not in any way prepared or protected from that. So it wasn't as bad until I stepped over here in the marshy part. So, get out of this area. I didn't put anything on. I have it back at the boat, but get away from that area. I'll be all right. Man, they're thick too. Just like you said, big old honkers too. All right, well, so from the, uh, the lighthouse, we're, uh, we're going to shut it down. We're pretty much done with this portion. Make sure we get a nice steady shot of it finally not sure how much wiggling around I've been doing wow amazing amazing I would not want to want to have been up in there in a storm so we're gonna we're gonna head out 